Hello and welcome to today's cash stuffing video. Today I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for week three of the March budget. How are you today? I hope you're having a great day and I'm looking forward to the weekend. So it's the first cash envelope stuffing that I've done this month on film. So I've been just spending as I normally do I do a lot on card at the beginning of the month and I usually do a big shop, grocery shopping, buy most of the cat's things, uh, food and litter for the month. So there's more spending in the first couple of weeks than the second couple of weeks for me. So we have got some money to put in for week three, some money to take out as well. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so cats should... Cats have got £3 in their envelope. I'm going to take that out. Groceries has got £1.20 in its envelope. I'm going to take that out as well. And the others are all empty. I've been doing mostly card spending. So from the bank I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95 pounds. 30 of that is going to be for the envelope savings challenge. So I'll put that to the side. And then the rest is to put in the cash envelopes for week three. So I'm doing a no spend month in March. And I'm doing okay, but I did spend the miscellaneous money, which <laughs> really should have come from spending money. But because I'm trying to do a no spend, I took it from miscellaneous. So cats started the month with £100 for their food and litter and treats. Um, in week one, I spent £11 and in week two, £56. So they've got £33 remaining for the month. I've taken their three pounds out for the savings challenge. So I'm going to record that here. And they will have um, 30 pounds for the rest of the month. I don't think they're going to need a lot. They've got most things. But I'm just going to give them 10 for this week, just in case we they do need something. Groceries started the month with £200 allocated. I spent £49 in week one and £66 in week two. That was a big online shop. That is a lot though for <laughs> two weeks. But a lot of it I have bought for the month. So the next two shops should be, I'm hoping, less than £30 each. So this week I'm going to give it 35 So 35 for groceries, but I'm actually going to take the £5 out for the savings challenge. So groceries has got £30 for this week. And I'm going to record that I took five, oops, wrong colour, took five out for savings challenge. So they're starting, groceries will start the month with 80, the week I mean, sorry, it will start the week with £80. In the envelope is 30. Travel started the month with 70 pounds. Travel is my bus and train fares. Spent 20 in week one and 20 in week two. It's got 30 pounds left. This week it's getting 20. So 20 pounds. It's going in. Spending started the month with 100. I haven't spent any because I'm trying to do a no spend. So it's still got 100. I'm just not putting anything in there. Nothing in the bank. And like I said, spent that miscellaneous when nothing's going into there. So short and sweet. But that's it. That's all the money that's going into the cash envelopes. Okay. So I've got some change that was in the wallet. 
the smaller change like this I take out throughout the week because otherwise my wallet won't close, my purse just won't close. I've got the savings jar here and I would say it actually is half full now, not almost half full but it is half full. So these coins will go in, sorry I'm not really on the screen. I think that was 10p, 80p, 30p, 70p, 27p, so that was probably what, £2? So that went in. And then the savings challenge has now got the £30 that's budgeted. Five pounds from groceries, um, three pound from tax, and one pound that was left in the grocery. So that's thirty nine pounds. So that's the progress so far on this savings challenge. So we need thirty nine pound envelope. that's really good I'm happy again to do a bigger one I do like it when it's from the budgeted money so 39 pounds has gone in and we'll just tape it up how are your savings challenges doing hope you're making good progress I'm enjoying, I'm, at, I'm enjoying, that's a bit strong. I, I'm actually coping with the no spend month better than I thought I would, even though I spent the £10, but that's not that much considering. <laughs> oh, I've just got, to, my budget will close on the 24th, so about two weeks left of no spend. So £39 envelope is stuffed, and we can highlight that. Is anyone else doing a no spend? I have holidays in April from work, not going anywhere but no, no work so it, March made sense for me to no, do a no spend because I know I'll spend money in April. So £39 was highlighted, so that's good. Alright, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!